I got you so called white people confused. You That's think right. you did all this on your own. But when you get the slavery chains around your neck, that's when you gonna fucking realize that it was all a, it was all just a temporary dream. Cause then this ain't gonna this shit ain't ever happening again. That's right. Then you getting obliterated off the face of the earth. Alright, go ahead. James chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Hearken, my beloved brothers, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and hires of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love him? Right. We're the poor of the world that's rich in faith. And that, and that he's promised the kingdom to us. If we love him, brothers are supposed to sincerely love the most high, man. Be ready to die for the most high. Now, I'm going to say it right now. A lot of you niggas ain't got that mind frame, man. You them niggas who go behind closed doors and talk about, hey man, you think GMS, you think the Lord only dealing with GMS? You think the Lord only dealing with GMS? Well, okay, you stupid ass nigga. Second Timothy chapter 3 tell you that uh, uh avoid foolish questions, man. That that start strife. So your your dumb ass gonna find out in the end, man. Right. And then also they add on to that, they say up in James, a, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all these ways, man. If you tipsy-topsy and turn about where the truth is, man, then the most I ain't dealing with you, man. Right, and it's obvious to you. see. It's obvious to see who got the truth. It's pretty goddamn obvious, man. Right. The reason I talk like this is because I'm sick of right. you of you niggas sucking up to the white man and always trying to find some loophole to make yourself just, yeah, I came up with this. Right. Hey, you know what? It's pretty obvious to see. GMS ain't nothing but a name. It's nothing but a name. Anybody who, who learned from the elders and learned from people that learned from the elders, what do they consider? Part of GMS. It ain't nothing but a family. That's all it is. A name. But guess what? Yeah, always, it always some simple nigga who's in the, you know, but guess what? When you fall out and when the Lord kill you, then you'll realize we're in the spirit world, though. All right? Because then the Lord going to put you back in your right mind. All right, go ahead. James chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Yep. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which you are called? Exactly. They oppress us, man. Rich men, they go for our people and mainly the so-called white men. Because our people, they got money, and they don't do a damn thing for us. Besides make more songs than make Jake even stupider, man. Yeah, I got, I got 45 inch rims now. And guess what? Every dumbass dick is gonna go get some 45 inch rims. So the rich don't, the rich ain't helping us. I know that's for damn sure. We ain't, we ain't able to go buy a Mercedes. Neither one of us, man. We ain't able to go just come out there and just do it big, man. Throw it all at the strippers like they say. All right, make it rain. Yeah, make it rain. Jesus said, bitch, you crazy? Yeah, bitch, you crazy? Fucking, you know what time we living in? You talking about making something rain? I can make it rain pennies, you know? I might hurt somebody doing that, though. All right? Go ahead, the song, man. Psalm 94, verse 1. Guess what? Everything that we telling you is going gonna, gonna to multiply. All the trouble that's happening in America is going to multiply. You think you're seeing high gas prices now? Wait till that shit hits $7. All right. Then you're going to wish you was back over here listening to us. All right. That's when you're going to wish you was listening to us. I should have listened to them guys. Those were the prophets who told me that this was going to happen. And they read it from the scriptures. They told me the white man was going down. But I said, I love the white man. 
Those, those things that you're going to be saying, you're going to be hitting yourself in the head, man. Go ahead. Psalm 94, verse 1. O Lord power, to whom vengeance belongeth, O most high, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Right. And the Lord is going to show himself. And that's what we say. That's what we say all the time. Lord, show yourself. Take fucking America down, man. That's right. right. You're tired of being here. That's right. But the Lord set the date, so we gonna wait. All right. We gonna endure. We ain't got no damn choice. All right. All right. Go ahead. Verse two: Lift up thyself, thy judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Render a reward to the proud. Who's the proud? So-called white man in these other nations. All right. But it's ninety-five percent the so-called white man. All right. Because he's proud. This faggot thinks he's never gonna go down. And you niggas right along with him thinking the white man ain't gonna go down. He's gonna go down, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked... How long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? Right. Because we look at this damn devil like that bitch that we just uh, got done dealing with. We look at that devil it's all right. I, it's a wind cut on there, so you don't you don't get the wind. No more. Uh, like that, like that devil woman we were just speaking to. What she was doing, being the devil, speaking proudly, thinking she ain't got to pay for slavery and all that stuff, thinking that she's just gonna go on and live her married life in America. That's the bitch was talking all the while. We was teaching. Then she's saying, if you don't want to hear me, bitch, you ain't hear us. Who's right. talking? Right, you didn't hear us. When I asked you a question, you never answered my question. My Christ in me. Yeah, my Christ, this, that, this, that. Well, what does this say? What does that say? It don't mean this. Being the devil. Tap dancing around the question. Answer the damn question. Why? Because you know if you answer that question correctly, you know there's judgment, man. You don't want to accept your judgment. These crackers don't want to accept the judgment. Judgment don't matter. When the black woman committed adultery, and the man knew he was committing adultery back in the ancient world, they didn't want to accept that judgment. The man was always blaming, hey man, it's the flesh, it's the flesh. But guess what, according to the law, he killed them motherfuckers, man. He killed them. So, white man, who cares if he's sorry now? Who cares? He's not sorry anyway, but who cares if he really was sorry? It don't mean a damn to us. Nor to the most high. We taking him down. Right. Still you gotta get checked. You still gotta pay. You still gotta pay. And you go pay, man. Alright, you gotta preach something. Alright, go ahead. Proverbs chapter 21, verse uh, 15. It is joy to the just to do judgment. But destruction right. shall be to the workers of iniquity. Right, destruction to the workers of iniquity. We know who the workers of iniquity are. Just think of a specific, uh, wait, well, Esau. What's one good thing he's done on the earth? All right, while you sit and think about that question, all right, now we know who the workers of iniquity are. All right? And destruction gonna come to him, man. We love judgment. We love judgment. Yes, I love it. Yeah. It's righteous judgment, man. You gonna reap what you sow. We don't only love judgment on the so-called white man. We love judgment on, on our people. We love judgment on the other nations. And then to add on to that, the the the, uh, the scriptures say that a man shall receive for uh, 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 receive judgment of his works, whether they be good or evil. And the so-called white man is reaped up the evil, turmoil, and chaos, and havoc throughout the whole earth, man. And our people have suffered the most for that. So we gonna receive the righteous man of the Lord, or gonna receive the ultimate, the ultimate uh, 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 reward, which yep. is the kingdom. And the, the so-called white man is gonna receive his ultimate judgment, which is uh, uh, eternal damnation, man. Right. Uh, he's gonna be underneath our foot, man. And that's what we're waiting for. It sounds far-fetched right now, but that's what we come out and teach every every week and throughout 
our daily lives during the week. That's all we meditate upon, man. Because the scriptures say, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, man. Well, you know who that sounds far-fetched to? It sounds far-fetched to the um, to the unfaithful, man. That's who it sounds far-fetched to. Because when I first heard this, man, I believed it, man. I believed it. I knew it was true because the scripture said it. If the scripture said it, that means the Lord said it. So I knew it was true. All the brothers who came true, they knew it was true, man. That's why they in it. That's why they go as hard as they do. That's why they still at the same pace when they first started. They still, if not going harder, they still at that same pace from uh, when they first started, man. But they still striding. They yep. haven't caught a crimp. They yeah. Trying to tap out of the race. Nope. They still stride. I got a piece of it. All right, go ahead. Get your own. Uh -huh. get your own. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. <coughs> Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Exactly. Guess who that sword is coming for? Oh, it's coming for two thirds of our people too. It's coming for the so-called white man though. And the mother nations. Because when the Lord comes back, it's gonna be hell to pay, man. It's not gonna be no big happy, yeah, it'll be a happy ending for the men of the Lord. Because while everybody else getting killed and jacked up, men of the Lord gonna be on the chariot with your house shot drinking wine and eating, man. So, when he says he came to send a, um, send a sword, that means he came to kill, man. And why they, why they like to say that, um, that he's all love, He's not all love. The Lord's a man of war. Uh, the Most High is a man of war. So wouldn't his son be a man of war too? Wouldn't we be men of war too? King David was really big into music. But was not, he just one of the most, you, you just did not want to mess with him when it came to fighting, man. But he loved making music, playing the harp, dancing. But when it came to the battlefield, you didn't want to touch David, man. You would die, man. You say, uh, blessings the Lord and teaching my hands to fight. Right. Yeah, teaching my hands to war. Yeah, it's like, yeah, war. Yeah, that a, uh, that a bowl of steel may be broken with my hands. Exactly. So guess what uh, David was doing? They was, David was breaking bowls of steel, man. Right. Now tell me somebody who can break a bowl of steel now. They'll fucking break their whole... They won't be able to use that arm no more, man. For a long, long time. Killing lions too. Yo, killing lions. You can't do that no more. Alright. Go ahead and talk to yourself. <clears throat> I got the angel talking. Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. He, this white man has a boundary that the most I set for him. That's what a lot of people don't think. They think that he's going to go to year 2500 and all that. That's a lot. They ain't going to go to year 2500. They ain't going to go to year 2050. You shouldn't be even thinking that, man. Matter of fact, they already got it out on the news that 2016 is the end of America. They said that this, everybody else is going to surpass America. This bitch is going to be a third world country by then. You know what? And we don't even believe that shit's going to 2016. Why? Because in order for America to lose all its power, there has to be a World War III. There has to be. And what did the Lord say about World War III? He's coming in the middle of that. So, like we've been telling you, man. It's getting ready to go down, man. You can think we're you think we're crazy all you want to. But we're gonna see who the crazy ones are. You, you don't even know what a uh what an orange does for your body, man. You just you just know that it it, it tastes good. That's all. We'll tell you that uh McDonald's, they uh their meat is human, mixed with human. 
along with uh, animals. 